Generic greetings, and welcome back to Sim Airport once again. In the previous episode, we did quite well. It was a little bit slower than perhaps myself and maybe you would like, but I'd rather uh, do that and be a little bit cautious in the first couple of episodes than absolutely slam at home with a massive bankruptcy. But uh, either way, we expanded the security area, which is problematic because it's not all staff, but it actually doesn't seem to matter. Also, I think these metal detectors are the wrong way around. That is the default... Uh, rotation that it gives us but you can see what happens is the person comes along gets scanned there then comes along this side and scans that way now maybe that is correct because they should go from left to right if I had the other way they'd scan on this bit and then go around and whatnot Essentially, because of the way I've placed it, they have to sort of jiggle about a bit, but uh, not a massive issue. We uh, just got some, a couple of other vending machines in. We got this COO office, and yeah, just generally went okay. But I think it is time we really go for a big expansion. So let's go over to bank balance, over to loan, and increase our loan somewhat to the maximum amount, as you can see. So what we'll do with that is go to objects and then a tower. And we will place a tower right there. Uh, actually, do you want to place it there? Do you want to go in the middle? Because that'll look really, really cool. Uh, we'll go in the... Actually, let's check something first. Uh, what was it called? It is a hangar. And a large hangar cannot go in the centre. So, yes, we are going to have a gate in there. Sorry, not a gate. We're going to have a, a tower in the middle, like so. Because it does look really, really cool. And then we do want an airplane gate. Now, we've got an airplane gate. And then an airplane gate large. I'm just going to go with the standard gate here. And uh, that is the rotation that we wanted in. There we go. Obviously, that's going to spend half of our money. But hopefully, it will uh, give us a bit of an advantage when it comes to the uh, planes docking up. And we should be able to get more now. So let's see if this works. It might not work. Uh, we'll have to just try it. Um, so, we'll go for a... What is that? Is that a large? It is a large sliding door, which is well offset by... It's like that. It should really be like that, shouldn't it? Yeah, that's just how it is. Let's just try that light sliding door. Uh, large sliding door, rather. And we will then put it in here so it's better. Now, this shouldn't break the game because we are technically still in a secure area because the whole fence is there. So this shouldn't break the game. We'll go to wall and obviously place a wall in there. They're not even using the door. Look, they're going round, which is a thing. It means that this uh, gate agent should be along as well, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just It's just not going to happen. I'm not going to mess around with all of that. It's a huge... Huge mess around. In fact, what we might do is uh, give it some sort of symmetry. At least we'll sort of have parity here by making it offset as well. And then we'll go over to queues, add queue. And then from here, we'll do this. So I don't know how big the queue is. I think it is that. Um, I'll have to wait until it's ended. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 nodes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 nodes. It is correct, yes. However issue here we will mm, we'll have to board on this side which I don't like so what I'll do is this and that means that even though the queue is different at least it's boarding on this side which I can I do it any better actually I'll probably do it hang on let me just go shrink queue and shrink all of this down probably the better way to do it is simply this hang on that didn't work at all expand the queue that, I think, is the better option. Why on earth I didn't do that for this one, I do not know. Oh, because, of course, the entrance would be there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go, that's done. Over to objects, decorative bush, three of. And then bench. And I am tempted to even demolish these other benches at some point. Just so we can put them right next to each other. There's no point in the gap. That says require at least one gate agent on the desk to be assigned. So we're going to click on that. We'll say assign to, assign to that gate. And there we go. So that is now legitimate. And it's still not working. No, there we go. It's sorted. We'll also assign to that queue. So we now have two gates. Now what that will do is anybody's guess, really. Oh, a lot of people are well pissed off. I don't know why. Um, I will go over to our money tab and decrease the loan. And 
see if we can start paying this back. Now, I do want to go to our flights and start to schedule different flights. There's another one here in the morning, which is an Embraer 195, which is, you can see, 90 passengers. We'll accept that. We're going to pause it while we do all of this. Click on this other one. That is some afternoon flights. That is a 767, which is a lot of passengers. We'll go for that one as well. This one is a morning flight and a 767 at night, which will accept that. And I think we'll just pause it there while, well, still pause, but we'll go to scheduling and we'll alter our schedule. So you can see we've got double schedules here, which is not something we want. But we do need to alter these flights so they're very, very, very early on. And what we'll do is we'll stagger them with half hours like that, you see. And that allows us to, um, uh, actually we'll stagger them like that. And that'll allow us to have... Is that right? Because we've got two gates, they should dock. They should be able to go to go towards either gate. So what I need to do is alter it so that they are forty-five minutes off. The half hour is that correct? That's the half hour. That technically should be there. Then is that right? No. It will be that really. But if we do that and then one two, that is technically correct. That can only go there. That has to go... Mm. Assuming this is the same... This is the same gate. Um, oh, that's really confusing now. Half past, half past. Half past. Yep. Yeah. This is going to really alter the gates, this. This is going to massively change things up. That one can come right back to there. That one's already right back. That one can only go to there. Oh, I think I just changed something. That's fine. Come along. Oh, we've already got law. We've got loads here. Why, why you click when you click on one bit, it alters the other? I do not know. Can we not expand this? Oh, we can. Right. I wish I knew that beforehand. Right. That that makes much more sense now. So we probably can move stuff around. Okay. So. Make sure these are only on the half past mark. That is half past there, half past there. That one is going to stay where it is. This one can go to half past. This one can go to there. This one can go to half past there. And that is technically all of our flights. I think it's really bloody confusing. Okay, let's just see what happens. If they start cancelling, then we know we've messed it up. But hopefully they will automatically go towards these gates. What we will do is assign vehicle, add another baggage car because, well, you know, we're going to have two planes now, so we need that. But we'll see who actually goes to this other gate. I don't know. Because I believe that's cancelled. That did what was actually cancelled. Can you see that? Depart and cancels. Failed to reserve gate. I think that's because we were messing around with the different gates. Yeah. Okay. So that's okay. So, well, it's not okay then, but it's okay now. Um, mm, there you go, unroute, cancelled. That's obviously, we, we will remove, or forget a lot of these because of the way it is, is departing. There you go. Because of, we just, because of how we've just altered stuff, we don't really need to worry too much about um, some of these. As long as the ones from about here onwards are okay. We're not going to be too concerned. So loan interest is really kicking our ass, which is something we sort of knew. But apparently flight ops income will be 78,000, assuming no cancellations. Whether or not that is the case, it's a different story. Right, all these are scheduled en route. Scheduled, scheduled, scheduled. This is today, you can see. So three en route, that's never a good thing. Hang on, arrival four and four. Oh dear. That's bad. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Uh, that's now fixed. <laughs> Whether or not it changes it. No, it doesn't. Look, one of these is going to cancel. Yeah, one of them will definitely cancel. Oh well. <laughs> they won't like that. They won't like that one bit. Oh well. We'll see how it goes. So... Double gate, which is good. Final approach. Delayed on route. Ah, failed to reserve runway. Then it's on final approach. 
The problem is this one is going to be delayed and it's going to have a knock-on effect. But we might be okay. In terms of delays and such, you will get... Oh, good grief, there's a lot of people. You will get um, certain delays, but apparently this thing, the Runway PAPI, does actually um, reduce... It says increased safety there. It actually... Um, does it give you lower risk of delays, or is it it's the ILS? ILS, Instrument and Landing System, allows larger airlines to conduct precision instrument approach. It means few, less, few weather delays and a lower risk of weather-related incidents. Also attracts the big boy airlines. It would be nice to have the ILS in here, but it is very expensive, and I don't think we can go for that one. So you can see we've had one cancelled, which is a shame, but that was we knew that one of them was going to give us some issues there. If only one of them is cancelled out of this entire thing, then I'll be very, very happy with that. But obviously, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be something we have to check the scheduling. As long as we haven't got two flights overlapping. So this flight and this flight do overlap, but that's two gates. As long as we don't have three completely overlapping, we're not too bad. So that overlaps that, that overlaps that, but that one does not overlap that. Um, we could technically go for that. Is that correct? Hmm... Yes, I think it is. So while that at the gate, that can be at the gate. But that can't be at the gate while that's at the gate. And yes, that is actually okay. And that can go back. That should... I think so. The scheduling is quite difficult to manage once you've got a lot of airlines. But anyway, we'll see how it goes. So I want to decrease my loan. But you have to pay it back in sums of 50k, which is... An interesting decision. I don't know why that is in place, but whatever. Either way, back to status. So we've got one taxiing. We've got three en route. Only one cancelled so far. You can see another one. Well, you can hear another one landing. Oh, yes. Very, very nice coloured. Oh, look at that. Nicely coloured aircraft, that is. Sweet. Ah, cool. So... That one's taxiing, another one landing, which will then go back gate. That one then takes off. The problem is when you have delays on the 767s and then the gate is full, uh, and then you have to cancel flights. Delayed, though, and that's failed to reserve the gate because we've got some problems with scheduling, probably. Uh, yeah, that's at the gate, but that should have departed. Yeah, that should have departed, look. Departure at 3 o'clock. It's nearly four o'clock. Mm. So we haven't got any overruns. So if we do get any delays, we have cancellations. That's not good. And it's a big, big plane and all. It's a really big plane. So that's two cancellations so far. The question is, do we... Let's decrease the bank loan. Do we class that as acceptable losses? That's the question. I don't think... I don't know if that would be a good thing or not. I don't know. Mm. It is going to be a scheduling thing. So two cancelled. One of them was because of delays. And that could be delays in boarding. See, a couple of tips that I've sort of picked up while playing this is when you've got two planes landing, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and have it so that the plane, if there's two planes landing, or even if there's two planes uh, next to each other in terms of their schedule, you don't want two massive planes like a 767. You want a 767 and a small light aircraft of some kind, like a, well, like, for example, right now, 767, uh, 136 can be boarded. Boeing, uh, 737, 99. Or the little ones with only 19 passengers. The reason you want to do that is because if one is delayed, it doesn't take long to get the, uh, the small aircraft boarded and done. It doesn't take long at all. So it might be an important thing to... Uh, worry about. Important thing to um, consider. Either way, in terms of our overall schedule, you can see we've had no massive disasters. 
what, two flights cancelled, but I think the first one was something we resolved, hopefully via scheduling. The second one was a cancellation due to um, fail to reserve gate because of the delays. So, how are we going to fix that? We need to reduce our delays. I reckon the way forward is by upgrading and building a runway instrument landing system. So, allows larger airliners to conduct precision instrument approach. Fewer weather delays and lower risk of weather, bad, uh, bad weather related incidents. And we need one anyway. So, I reckon one of these, 20 grand though, I reckon one of those is the way to go. And the way we're making money... We might be able to get it there as well. I do really want to up... I really do want to up this. See, there's two different ways. How much airlines to use runway, uh, runways, and then how much per passenger. So, if we go for 20, that's 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 a big markup, though. Because you can... You can probably do it. Maybe not now, because I don't know how expansive the game is and how it's calculating this. But you could probably do it where you say, look, we're, we're not going to charge you to use the uh, the runway at all, but we'll charge you per passenger. Or you could go the other way around. So you say, we're not going to charge you anything per passenger, but any aircraft that lands here is going to be X amount of generic units of currency. That might be the, you know, like, that might be a way to play it. So you can say, look, I'm only going to use small aircraft or only go big aircraft. You know, it could go either way. Uh, in terms of our stuff here. There's another... F yeah, we had a flight cancellation again. It's the Boeing. Failed to reserve gate. So we are going to have to alter the schedule. So what I'm going to do is stagger these just a little bit. Um, like so. Like that. Alright, so that should... We do have overlap, but if these two are on the same gate... I mean, technically you can do that because you've got double gate. You've got two gates, so they can go there. That is fine. And then you can do that. And then you can do that. I'm making it much more difficult for myself, aren't I? Two gates, two gates, done. Right, we're doing it this way instead, because this is just a much simpler way of doing it. There you go. Always have 15 minutes between the gates. That's the rules. There you go. I've simplified massively my... Um, scheduling. That should be correct. I don't know if it's going to be correct, but let's see what happens. Right, click on that, upgrade, ILS, put it in there. So now we can... Oh, the wings actually clip through that, which is an interesting thing. And you can right-click for in construction options. Cancel. Okay, fine. <laughs> Not much construction options then. Uh, nothing to do with the tower. So hopefully that will the um, instrument landing system. Hopefully that will uh, reduce delays. But we'll see how it goes. But now because we've got that, if we check our airline interest, you can see we might have some of the... Uh, oh yeah, we have some more interest, I think. So, Atlantic Intel, which is uh, Boeing 767 in the afternoon. Uh, where have we got... Oh, there we go. More stuff turned up. Very, very nice. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Um... What I'm going to check now is uh, throughput. Uh, we've got a lot of passengers here. We've probably got over a thousand entities roaming around this place. Where are, Where is our shortcomings? It's security again, isn't it? It's going to be... Oh, no, no, they're going through security. They do seem to be getting through security. This is why they make you check in many hours beforehand, I would assume. Uh, that's getting boarded. That's boarding. You know what? It's zero minutes left, so there is a delay on that. Not that it's a big issue. That guy says, ah, there's a lot of saying, ah. Have they just been turned away from that? Yes, they have. No, no, they haven't, look. 143 of 143. Do you know what that might be? That's either, <laughs> and I always lean to this one at the moment, a bug, or something I don't understand. Actually, you'll probably lean towards that one. Or it could be a case of they've overbooked the flight. Which does happen. The, the, this, like, airlines, uh, as far as I'm aware, if, say, you've got a 100-seater, you will sell 110 tickets because you know, statistically, that there's a certain percentage of people that will not make the flight, they'll be late, they will cancel just before we get there. So they automatically oversell the flight, knowing that, on average, that percentage of cancellations will be correct. However, you will also have times when they will say, we'll sell 110 tickets and 110 people turn up for a plane that has a maximum capacity of 
100, which means you can't just stand in the aisle or sleep in the uh, baggage hold. You have to get on another plane. Yeah, that. So, um, what else do we need to do here? Well, 26 grand a month to go to research and for road building, I believe. That is useful. Making very, very good money now. Airline interest is based on price sensitivity, passenger satisfaction, airport facilities, and more. So, yeah, passenger satisfaction is quite high, although needs rest is very, very low. So, how can we fulfill rest needs. I'm guessing bench. Uh, place to idle comfortably. Idle comfortably. Okay, let's destroy all these benches then. Because I'm going to I'm gonna put them next to each other so it works better. I was going to put little um, bushes next to them, but you know what? The seating arrangement is much more important than the, uh, the look of it. I could actually put one, two, three, like have a gap of th and have a, have a three then a gap. Two, three, one, two, three. Oh, that fits perfectly. There you go. And then we'll have like a little... Uh, do we have a decorative bush? Um, palm tree. No. Coffee maker. No. What else could we put in there? Drinks machine. So retail staff use this machine to pour soft drinks. 30 passengers like soft drinks. You earn money from transaction too. Thanks very much for telling me that. I hadn't already figured it out. Oh, wait, I had. Um, I don't know what else to put in there. I put a toilet there, but that might be a little bit unhygienic. Maybe... Would you have... Would you have your flight things here next to the gates? I don't know, would you? Would you have your... The flight things around here? I never really thought of it. Mm, one there and there, maybe? No, we'll just have one there. Um, and I think food vending is the way to go. But I'll dismantle that one. Well, destroy. But it should uh, put a box there. Which there's no actual storage, as far as I can tell, for, for items. Uh, check zones. Baggage claim we've got, cafe we haven't, deliveries yes, drop-offs yes, garbage yes, you can see one of one, kitchen no, officers two, pickups one, uh, restroom two, security, so we've got everything in this, apart from the calf really in the kitchen, but everything else we've got. So it looks like this is working absolutely beautifully, um, go to status, we can see uh, yesterday, one cancellation, two cancellations, same time, but that was before we've altered it, so hopefully today will be a, bit, be a little bit better. We'll see where we've got a bit of a gap in terms of our flights. We can't pull that backwards, which is a crying shame. Um, we really don't have any space for more flights, do we? Uh, actually, in the morning, we can have another flight here, so let's check for a morning flight. So we'll go for... Airline interest, we'll just put it on normal speed while we do this. And we're going to check things like um, Atlantic Limited, that's an afternoon flight. Aerostar is a morning flight with an Ember uh, 195, which is uh, 90 passengers. We've got Star Flight, which is not useful for us. Pacific, which is a morning flight at Beechcraft, which is very, very small. WestJet, an afternoon flight. We haven't got a WestJet one, I believe, which is a Boeing 737. 140 passengers. A Ford Air, we don't have anything there at all. I should really check this where it says available. Galactic Point, we don't have anything there because it's all massive planes by the look of it and requires larger gates. Yeah, they're just huge airline. Um, Smart Air Lux is a morning flight, which is an Airbus, which is too big for what we have here. There's this uh, Rexacana for afternoon and night and then Aero Time for nothing at all. So actually, I think it's going to be the morning Ember 195, which which is okay. Close that, go to pricing, and there is there it is, and we'll just place it right underneath this one, so you can see we do have um, two of them uh, landing about that time. Excellent. So more money. In terms of money, we are making a nice amount of it, which is very, very good. I'm, I'm glad I did choose to take the loan out and just take a... It was a, it was a big gamble, I must confess. <laughs> it was a very big gamble uh, doing this. You know, because if we didn't have... If we didn't have that, we, we could have we we could have caused huge issues really. If we, if we if this didn't work and these didn't like I was gonna say dock up, but that's not the right term. If they if they went landing and then 
going to either gate and we had problems with scheduling or problems with security, it would be a huge issue. It really would give us some problems. In terms of our... Uh, ticketing. Uh, I do want another ticketing, another couple of ticketing kiosks. In fact, I'm very tempted to expand our ticketing all the way to the end. But I think what I'll do, I will, when we build another gate, it will be down here probably, and we'll have it, an, uh, probably a runway coming down this way. In fact, let's go to runway and we'll see how much it costs. Runway is oh, a lot of money apparently, but we can fit one in here. Or most likely it's going to be there. Alright. It'll probably be here. And then it will... I don't know. I don't know what... Yeah, it's going to have to be around either here or probably there. And then we'll connect it up to this area. Or we'll build another terminal here. But then that means a lot of ferrying... Uh, a, lot, a lot of routing and stuff. So I, we'll see how it goes. Go back to scheduling and check is that seems to be about right go over to status oh yeah cancel flights look at that two cancel flights three cancel flights oh they're not gonna like that and then another cancel flight wow there's so many cancel flights now fail to reserve a gate okay all right um Honestly, I could build another airplane gate. I mean, there's no real issue around that. I could place one. Uh, we would have to expand this place somewhat. You know what? I might do that. I might place another. I might get another airplane gate. We're currently at maximum capacity. And we've got obviously problems with the flight cancellations. And we don't want that. So perhaps, yeah, perhaps that's the way forward. Airplane gate there. Obviously it is very, very um, pricey. And then we'll also have to go for another taxiway, which will have to come down and across. Actually it doesn't. It could just go down here, but I don't like the idea of having um, this being the central point of all stuff moving around. It's uh, very, very bad. Oh my good grief, taxiway is very, very expensive. Okay, fine. So yeah, I think that's the way to go. But I think we'll leave it there. Because we've had a lot of progress. We've had, we've now got... Uh, oh, it's in the... It's the wrong direction. <sighs> Let's see how much money, if any, we get back from that. Why on earth it defaults that way, I do not know. That's the correct way. Um, is it the correct way? Yes, and it didn't cost us any money. <sighs> We're fine. <laughs> That's okay. Um, nothing in the morning, look at that. Between one and three, there's nothing. Is there nothing we can? Is there anything we can do to alter that? Um, Aerostar night, but it doesn't tell you what. What's classed as night? No, click that Ember Star there. Scheduled. Uh, star flight acceptance. It's there. But it needs to be there, and can we pull it along to here and then drag the screen? No. So night is... We're going to have to cancel that. Yep, it's going to cost me six grand to terminate it, but, you know. So yeah, that is definitely classed as night morning then. We want a morning flight, but then... I don't know. Is it the way to go? Is it the way to go? Morning. What's the cancellation fee? Five grand. Okay, let's try it. Let's just see what happens. Scheduled. Morning is... Where's it put it? Uh, star flight. Accept this board. Star flight. Where the hell is it? Star flight acceptance bonus about a minute ago. Yes. Correct, correct, correct. Correct. I don't know. Oh, is it a scroll? No, nope, it's not a scroll issue. I don't know where that's went. Because that's the only star flight we have. Uh. Cool, so we're leaving it there. Uh, <laughs> next episode, we will expand our airport once again. 
We need to put in taxiways, which are very, very expensive. We need to increase the size of this to accommodate the other gate and generally progress on. We do probably want to start thinking about a bigger gate. Um, so I think because we can have a large gate and another runway. But that is a futurist problem. Uh, I think... I think we'll go for the loan idea again next episode and loan this. Just get a loan, get it done, bosh. That's probably the way forward. As always, though, comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.